Hello, and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now today, I'm just doing a small little tutorial on how to make a sword in Blender. Now you can always go to form.nistic.com to post any questions you may have on Blender, or just to show off your renders. Um, I also have a little link here on the nav bar on form.nistic.com, where you can view the tutorials at a higher quality quality than they are on YouTube, and I also, hint hint, have some extra tutorials that are not on YouTube yet, so be sure to check that out. So let's go ahead and get started on our little tutorial here today. Um, we're going to use the default cube today, so the first thing we're going to do after s having the default cube selected, hit R, and then negative 45 to rotate it. Uh, 45 degrees to the left and so now we turned our little uh, square kind of thing wh what we can see from the top view to a little diamond here so after we do that we want to go into edit mode hit A to do deselect everything uh, wireframe mode then I'm just hitting B and dragging the uh, clicking and dragging the left mouse button to select these two sides. So yeah, as you can see, um, the vertices on either side are selected. So I'm going to go to view top and then hit the S key and we're going to scale it on the X axis. So hit S, X and then that should scale it and just get it a good fit. Uh, However you might like it, you might want a kind of fat looking sword or just, just kind of make it thin in between these uh, two little lines here. So I'm going to do it about there. And so if I hit tab, uh, I just went into object mode and change from uh, uh, wireframe. You can see there kind of an edge of a sword, just part of it. Now from there we're going to go into side view. Um, this is kind of the side of the sword. And we are going to go back into edit mode, hit A, go back into wireframe, hit B, uh, drag to select, hit the G key and just kind of scale it up. I just hit I'm just scaling it on the Z axis. So now it's kind of bigger there. And so right now we have kind of the the most of the blade here on the sword. So I'm going to go back into side view. Oops, I hit preview. X that out. And now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so it looks a little bit more like a sword here. And get a little bigger. Let's kind of fine tune it. And then I want to make an edge. So I extrude just a little bit, make it a little smaller, and go to hit w, the W key, select merge and at center, and click remove three vertices. And there you have it. I'm going to go and change it from wireframe again. And as you can see, we started out with just a rotated cube and we made it a little bit thinner and then we made it bigger and smaller at the top and then we simply used um, extrude and then use W merge to merge those uh, four vertices at the top into one so I'm hit, gonna hit the G key and Z just to make that tip a little longer and there we have it we have the basic blade of the sword now as you can see, the camera and the light object are small compared to the sword, so we want to make the sword uh, a little bit smaller so it can be seen when we render the, the sword. So we're going to go down here, um, I just hit the S key, and I'm scaling it down about 0 0.2, so just type in 0 0.2, hit enter, and that's that's a bit smaller. Let's check it with our camera. And that looks alright for now. So we're going to go back into 
uh, top view. I'm going to rotate a bit. Can I see? So let's just go ahead and make a handle for our sword. So go in here. Click right there. Either the middle at the bottom of the sword. Cursor to grid. It uh, aligns our little cursor where we add our objects to the grid here. And so I'm just going back into side view. And it's space, add mesh, cube. And it's really big, so I'll kind of just hit the S key and make it smaller here. And then from there, we're going to uh, make it a little bit bigger. Just using S and then Y, scaling on the Y axis. You can kind of see it there. And so from there, go back to the side view. Shift D. R to rotate, hit 90 degrees, and then hit the uh, G and the Z key to just kind of bring it down and make it mm, a little bit smaller. <clears throat> so now, let's check our camera before we render this. You can kind of see the sword here and its little handle and all that. So let's render it and see what it looks like. So we just have our basic sword here and so I mean it's you can texture it later you can kinda of make that a uh, part shiny or whatever and you can add fine details uh, into the the sword here whatever type of sword uh, you wanna make it you could uh, subdivide this and you could curve it back a little bit uh, make it look a little bit uh, like different types of swords so to just add a little extra to this part here, I'm just going to uh, go into edit mode on these two parts. Hit bevel. Bring that in a bit. Do it on the same thing here. Uh, recursion 2. Move it in a bit. And there you go. Just a basic sword. So, I mean, you can just kind of have fun with this. Um, making all different types of sword. Maybe you could use it in an animation, or you could make it in a kind of a medieval render. Uh, whatever you want to do with it, you can really have fun with it. So before we go, I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna play with a little bit more. Um, I'm just selecting all the things on the sword and rotating it. Uh, 45, negative 45 degrees. You can also hit Control J to s take all these objects and just turn it into one single mesh. So, have all those, and then I'm just going to duplicate it, rotate it the other way, 90 degrees, and then move it, Y axis, the top view. Looks just about right. Look at the camera. Nope, too far off. So I'm going to move it over here. And take a look at the render. And you have two swords kind of clashing against each other. So, I mean, you can just have fun with this and uh, make your own sword. So I hope you learned a little bit more about Blender with this tutorial. And so have fun with it. Um, I just wanted to let you know I'm also releasing a Blender DVD on how to make a character in Blender, so if you're interested, just PM me on uh, YouTube or Nistic. See you guys later. Bye.